What, what, what is going on, fellow fans of Clash of Clans? It is your host, Galadon, and we are in Season 4, Day 3 of CWL. That's the Clan War Leagues in Clash of Clans. And we're talking about Lost Phoenix venturing after the Champion 1 spot. We are chasing the top clans in the world, and today, facing War Kings 2, a clan that looks to have... Well, they're just not performing up to uh, what they had hoped. They did three-star one of our bases, though. So we go on to burn Lost Fezzi's base, since it technically has kind of already been burned by getting three-starred. I'm sure that Fezzi was planning on changing the base anyway, especially when it fell to a bit of a spammy attack. You've got the Bowlers, the Witches, the Giants in three rows, just kind of all the way across the top right of this base. Now, it did work out to be some pretty good funneling, and I have to say we saw some great spell timing and placement as we get deeper into this attack, but it just kind of started out looking a little bit spammy. Either way, a good attack because it's a 3-star against a very high level Town Hall 12, nearly maxed out. Obviously, the walls are not, but most of the defenses are. Great jump spell right there, and check out the freeze! Beautiful freeze on the Inferno Tower Expo and the Town Hall. That right there saves the three star, as of course did the Warden's ability. Getting that Warden funneled into the core, using that ability, saving the damage from the Gigabomb. And as you can see, not a whole lot left to stop this attack right now. In fact, look how quickly, I mean, we're barely into the beginning of this video, not even two minutes in. And Lost Fezzi's base is just about already done. Talk about an overkill. So many units left, and it really didn't take that much time for JR from War Kings to drop the three star on Lost Phoenix. And so far, the only three star from War Kings against Lost Phoenix, and Lost Phoenix only dropping one three star total in this entire war so far. We will get to that next. Check out the overkill. Great attack, gotta remember that one. Okay, 16 bowlers, 12 witches, eight giants. Easy to remember, Pekka giants in the wall wrecker. All right, but let's move on and check out, as you can see, Lost Phoenix has completed all 15 of their attacks, and the only base we were able to triple was thanks to Bounty Hunter, base number 15 on War King's site. This is kind of a base that you, if you've been in Clan War a lot at Town Hall 12, you've seen this base before. And it definitely could fall victim to a number of attacks. Gotta give a shout out to Bounty Hunter right here for a very original attack. Queen Walk with only three healers, Stone Slammer, Electro Dragons, and Bat Spells. So we might question Bounty Hunter's choice of army composition here with the Bat Spells and only three healers on the Queen. But hey, who are we to question? He's got more stars than us in this clan war. And there go the Bats with the Rage. They just... Basically kind of came in the middle of the attack. They weren't dropped on. I would have anticipated maybe the Eagle Artillery. Instead, they just kind of came in with the Rage, with most of the Dragons. And as you can see, the Dragons doing a great job. The Stone Slimer goes down, but the Balloons annihilate the Town Hall. And that is your second star. And then right in the middle of this base, those Electro Dragons getting caught in the Tornado Trap. And right here, it's tough to tell. Is this going to be a three star? Oh, I mean... You, you know it is, but I'm just saying, if you didn't know, would you know? Would you have guessed? It looked like maybe there weren't a lot of Electro Dragons left. As you can see, they're going down left and right. One Inferno Tower is still up. And then the Archer Queen, surprisingly, hanging on strong right here with her healers. And perhaps this is what Bounty Hunter had in mind. Getting that Archer Queen to survive the attack by dropping in the air troops that moved out in front of her, took down the defenses, her healers are still up, and the Archer Queen, of course, is going to help clutch out the remainder of these six structures or so that are left. There you can see the Electro Dragon doesn't have a lot of health left himself. The Grand Warden's almost out of here. The Queen's ability is gone as well. So it's up to the Archer Queen and her healers. Surprisingly, the healers never peel off to heal that Warden at all. They stay on that Archer Queen. So does the multi-target Inferno, but luckily she's got plenty of health, plenty of time to get through this wall with the Warden helping out. You can see the Dragon doesn't make it, but the Archer Queen, had this been a multi-target Inferno, it ends differently. But instead, she gets through the wall, comes on in here, takes out the Inferno Tower, and grabs the only three-star for Lost Phoenix. 
icing the victory, but there's no time to celebrate because tomorrow begins our toughest match yet. War number four. Okay, so here we go. Let's just check it out again. We had 31 stars against War Kings, so we've gotten the max 30 stars or better in every war so far, this being only day three. Obviously, War Kings not done attacking yet, at least we hope for their sake they're not done attacking yet. But let's take a look at the overall standings. All-Star DU-45, All-Star DU-45, they are ahead of us by over 200% in damage, although we are tied in stars at the moment. Remember, 10 extra stars for winning a war, and it looks like they will, of course, win their next war, but they've also only used 14 attacks. So we're anticipating they'll tack on an additional two stars, most likely, against this other clan that they are beating right now. So that means they will be ahead of us going into day four. They will be the number one clan, and we will be number two. A big lead over third place, about almost 20 stars, 19 stars. But again, day four, round four, Lost Phoenix faces All-Star Do 45. That is going to be the epic matchup of this entire season. Can we at least, I'm hoping for at least a tie on stars. I don't know, it's going to be tough. They're obviously the best clan here so far. And you can see they have just the slightest edge over Lost Phoenix. They scored a better overall score against the clan that's in, um, I think it might be Farsi. I don't know what language it is, but they had an overall better score. They had more stars against that clan. Since we had both faced that clan, you can kind of tell that perhaps they have a just ever so slight advantage right now. And it could make the difference. Again, we just want to finish first or second. So tomorrow, that's going to be the big war. Hope you guys tune in. I will live stream part of it on Twitch. So if you're around, come to www.twitch.tv slash GaladonCOC. Check out the live stream. And I tell you what, I'll be giving out gift cards for every Lost Phoenix three star. Every time Lost Phoenix grabs a three star or for however many three stars we have in the war, I will give a gift card, either Google Play or iTunes, to the chat. That is on Twitch, so make sure you stop by. But that's it for now. The video's over. Thank you guys for hanging out till the end. I know it's not as long as yesterday's video, but, you know, we got to balance things out sometimes. Again, look for me around 7 p.m. Pacific time, almost every night on Twitch. Hope you guys can join me. The URL is right there. In the meantime, thank you for hanging out. Thank you for spending a few minutes every day with me. Like, comment, subscribe, be kind to other people, be kind to animals. And I'll see you all back here again tomorrow for more Full Attacks. Man, let me talk. I could easily get your video to 10 minutes, even 20. I've got lots to say, Gallydon.